New tonight, an emotional first day of school at Cesar Chavez High School in Levine. Students and staff back in class, but without their friend Christopher Hampton. The 15 year old drowned last month after a football camp in Sholo. As ABC 15's Ashley Holden explains, there are still plenty of unknowns. It was bittersweet. Um, of course, he had to get up and go. It's his senior year, the first day. Crystal Sosa's son is one of more than 2,700 students who made their way to the first day of class Monday at Cesar Chavez High School. I can tell that he had some reservations about him, you know, his principal not being there. The school year starting as an investigation is underway and key leadership at the school on administrative leave. I think that's our biggest struggle right now is doing what's best for our kids because we have had so much loss. The principal, Robert Grant, and the school's athletic director both played Placed on leave following the tragic death of football player Christopher Hampton, the 15 year old student drowning last month at Cholo Lake. The team was in the area for football camp. The boys just can't ready and they really want to do it for Chris. You know, they want to put those helmets and pads on and do it for him. Players on the field Monday getting ready for their first game August 25th, but all the coaches who were on that football trip also on leave, including the head coach. ABC 15 reached out to the Phoenix Union High School District about their investigation, but we were told they had no updates. He is a pillar in our community. He's a pillar at the school. I'm hoping that you will listen to the community today and bring stability back to Cesar Chavez High School. Parents going to the most recent Phoenix Union Governing Board meeting calling for the return of Principal Grant. Crystal even starting a petition with now hundreds of signatures. I felt discouraged because, you know, everything's so tight lipped there. We can't get any updates. Waiting for answers about what's next at the school and also waiting for details from the Navajo County Sheriff's investigation into Hampton's death. A few days after the teen died, his family telling ABC 15 they want answers. If this was your son, wouldn't you want to know what happened? Your nephew. Yep, if this was your cousin. family member, what do you want to know? Monday, we reached back out to the sheriff's office for an update, but we're told they have nothing new to release. In Levine, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona. Ashley.